No! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Primeam, and we are back with another reaction on the channel. This is episode 6 of Star Wars The Bad Batch, The Commission. Now, last episode, there wasn't really much that went on. You see, they went to a planet to meet an informant who used to work with the Jedi. That informant's name was Sid. And in order to get information from Sid, they had to go on a mission. They went on a mission to, to save a Rancor. And I was saying last episode that that's the same Rancor we saw in Return of the Jedi. And the Bad Batch learned that the bounty hunter that was after them was named Fennec. So that's pretty much it for the episode. I'm really hoping that... Uh, I feel like the pace needs to be ramped up. Like, I don't know how to explain it. These past episodes feel like different from the first episode and even even the second episode. The second episode was okay. But yeah, it, it just feels different. I want there to be like more... I just want to see another Jedi. That would be a good episode. Either a Jedi or we see Rex. That would be cool. But if you are already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, please leave a like. And let's begin. Oh wow, she almost killed somebody, and that's the episode, I mean that's the weapon she got from last episode. She almost hit the middle, but like using something like that is kind of, it kind of puts you at a disadvantage because uh, the time it takes to pull it back Versus the time it takes to pull on the trigger, it, it's it's too much of a difference. So that's more of a weapon to be used like tactically. You make money, I make money, and I want your back. With the heat on you, it's the best option you've got. I mean, it, it really is. I guess we're in. You you're releasing too soon because of those weak noodle arms. Mm. Build up your strength. She got aim like that. I bet you she hit in the middle, yeah. Oh, that's some um, hand solo type of technique. Why is the technical droid more important than the other droids? Because it's tactical. The more tactical droids fought, the more they learned. And one. I remember that tactical droid from Rebels. That was a good episode. Oh, this time I noticed they brought Omega with them. I just realized that. They didn't tell her to stay in the ship. So I guess they're recognizing her ability to help because she helped in episode one. She helped. She helped in episode two. She helped in um, episode five. Like she just. Well, yeah, episode two and three. She's just been all around helpful. Like she hasn't been a hindrance to them. So it makes sense that they're allowing her to come with them. Wait. Wait a second. Rafa. Why do why do they sound familiar? Who am I? Who are you? Are they from season seven? I can't I can't remember the names. I kind of hear the voices, but, oh man, I, love, I can't even check on it now, 
but they're from season seven. This is the same problem I had with Fennec. Well, I remember Fennec was from The Mandalorian. I just didn't remember her name. Now with them, I can't remember if they were from season seven or not. But I feel like, but that's crazy. They were with Ahsoka, and now they're with the Bad Batch. Nice going, kid. Me? You're the one who cracked my book. I think that is them. That's. If it is them, that's an interesting cameo. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, Wrecker got some good aim. He's not just the brawler. Trace him off. Yeah, it is them. It is them. It is them. That's that's. Wow. Oh, he's gonna jump. Oh my god. Okay, you got this. Uh huh. You got it. Oh, he has a fear of heights? Oh! What did he just do? Didn't he just knock his head into the button? I guess that's not important. Oh no! Oh no, his head! No! So... Oh my... No! So it, it was the chip the whole time that was giving him a headache? No, not record. too late before they figure out that the chip is affecting him. I think what takes priority for the team instead of like going on missions is figuring out a way to disable the chip for good. Like that takes number one priority because you never know like if it could become active. Like they say that it's not really that active because of their mutations, but you see, like, Wrecker is getting affected. It may be minor, but you never know if it could still, like, get you. So, I hope they found a, find out a way to take care of the chip before it's too late and we lose another Bad Batch member. But I, I think I think they'll find out because they have um, tech. Tech is smart. Oh 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 oh! Wait, she's actually in the pile. She better be careful. Oh my gosh. This 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 just reminded me of Toy Story. <laughs> that scene where they were all holding hands. Oh my. Wouldn't the heat be too much? Like she's like she's literally right on top of it. Wouldn't the heat alone like probably burn off your eyebrows or hit something? Trace and Rafa, they're good people. They even let, they even helped out Ahsoka. So. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me or anything. But I, I wonder why, why are they after the this robot? This has been a real treat, but as you can see, the tactical droid is out. Oh my gosh, come on, Wrecker. You can fight through it. You can fight through it. Wow, they really are surrounded. 
what we need is a diversion. Is Isn't that what she just here? said? Yes. What? <laughs> Rude. Okay, Echo. We need a distraction. And... Oh, they're gonna turn on the super battle droids? Wow. And... You know what I just noticed? They're... Like, since the, the Clone Wars are over, they're decommissioning all the droids. I, I just noticed that. That's why they have all those Super Battle droids, all those uh, Roger Roger droids. Uh, I can't really remember the name of them. But they're having them decommissioned. I didn't see the, um, what do you call it? The one with the force field and it rolls in the ball. I didn't see that one, but it makes sense that they're showing us the decommissioning of the droids. Yeah, okay, Wrecker pushed push through it this time, but he has to tell them that there's, there's something wrong. Because how else are they going to figure out if he does it safe for himself? <laughs> Roger, Roger. Oh, it, it, it's just called the Battle Joy. So you have Super Battle Joy and the Battle Joy. Oh! Oh! Did they just destroy it? Does it not. The, I hope it's not destroyed. It really is them. I, if I had seen the hair first, like, then I would recognize them. But, but the voice, the voice gave gave it away. The voice gave it away. Oh. They're working with the rebellion. Why aren't you fighting for the empire? Isn't that what you clones do now? Not all of us. We're different. Yeah. I've heard that before. From Ahsoka. About the Jedi. That's... Wow. You should come visit us. Like, the Star Wars universe, everything that comes that together. That's... It's just... CD? It's crazy. Very. It's great. What's this? Take copy the tactical droids intel to the data road before it got destroyed. Why are you giving it to us? Because it's the right thing to do. We use it for the right reasons. Huh. Maybe you are different. Of course. To be honest, things were clearer when we were just soldiers. Yeah. Take it from me. In the end, we all choose sides. That is true. Oh! I, I like what they did there. I like what they did there. Oh, oh my gosh. That was a goosebumps moment. That was a goosebumps moment. I'm not gonna lie. I like I like what they did there. Okay. They were alluding to the fact, and I think it's pretty much clear that they're going to end up joining the rebellion, or at least aiding them a lot. Right now they're with Sid, but who are they gonna show? We acquired the tactical droid data from Corellia, and we had help. It was a squad of rogue clones, and I know where to find them. Wait, who is that? Thought you might want to know. Who? Show, please, no! What? she have been talking to? Who could she have been talking to? Because, okay, they said they were fighting against the Empire. I believe them, so it wouldn't be anybody bad. Could it be Saw Gerrera? But... I feel like they wouldn't, I don't know. It could be, it could be Senator Organa. Cause you have to think about all the characters who are present 
during this time. Like, the Clone Wars just ended and the Empire just started. So, you gotta think who would have been forming a rebellion at this time. Obi-Wan wasn't a part of the rebellion. He was on Tatooine. So, it's and Yoda went to Dagobah. If it's somebody with robes, you have to think like in terms of uh, uh, in terms of like okay, this is the best way to put it. Who was there um for Star Wars Rebels? Like in that time period. That would be the best way to put it. But It wouldn't be Ahsoka. It wouldn't be. It couldn't be. Nah, it wouldn't be. Who could... It could either be Senator or Ghana. Or... I don't even know. I don't even know. They really did that? Like they couldn't have tell they couldn't have tell us who it was. Now I'm more interested into seeing who this person is. Who was who was on that hologram? Come on, why didn't they show us the the face? Okay, whatever. Well, it was cool to see Rafa and what's her name? Trace. And that was a good call back to season seven. That was that was that was nice. Even though like that the beginning part was the beginning part was okay. And then we got when we got to the good stuff, now that that was and I, I'm sorry that I didn't react to it on YouTube. I know. At the time I didn't even know if I was going to be um doing a YouTube channel. So yeah, I did enjoy season seven. I'm sorry you couldn't enjoy it with me, but it is what it is. We'll continue the journey of Star Wars together. So it's okay. But yeah. What else? Where's, okay. They need to, Wrecker needs to talk to them and tell them that something's wrong because that's, that's not, that is not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. Especially Wrecker. Especially since he's a big guy. I, he would be dangerous to fight against. Like he took on a... Uh, I don't know if that was a baby or a teenager. But he took on... Well, if you look at it this way. It, ha it had to have been a baby. Right? Because the rank... The Rancor appears in Return of the Jedi. And that's like... Luke... Luke is like, um, he's like probably in his 20s, right? Late 20s? I'm not sure. But if you compare, compare that to Luke, and this thing looks like it's been alive before Luke because Luke was like, he was just born. So it had to, it had to have been a baby at that time. If not a baby... Between it was somewhere between baby and teen, yeah, if that makes sense. But where was I going with that point? I was, I was going so much into that I forgot what I was bringing that up for. Why did I even bring that up? I forgot. I forgot. Why did I even? Okay, whatever. Well, they need to deal with that chip immediately before it like starts really working. Like, if it really like, man, that's that. It would just be bad for them if they don't like. You know, it would just be really bad. But I'm sure that they'll they'll take care of it eventually. And what else? Where's Fennec? 
what's Crosshair doing? Um, I, I'm interested to see. I'm really, I'm kind of interested in what the Empire do is doing right now because we really, we really don't know, to be honest. Yeah, we really don't know. Well, in its early stages, we haven't. We probably know, but we haven't seen it yet. So I, I'm interested to see. Like, are we gonna see an Inquisitor? Is it too early to see an Inquisitor? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. No. Maybe. No, no, it isn't. It isn't. It isn't early. Because I remember in a comment that the Inquisitors were with Darth Vader looking for Jedi. And as this is around that time. Because, yeah. But yeah, Inquisitors. I'm still waiting for it. Ahsoka to pop up? I would love to see Ahsoka in this. We would only be able to see Ahsoka. We wouldn't be able to see Yoda. We wouldn't be able to see Obi-Wan. Um, we would only be able to see Ahsoka and whoever else they put. I know there's a few Jedi alive right now, but yeah. But it this this is it was a it was an interesting episode, especially bringing these two characters back from season seven. That that was pretty good. And the best moment of this whole episode is when she said, "Everybody chooses sides," and I I think that was a great uh, allusion to them joining the rebellion because I I can see that happening. They're not going to be with the Empire. It, obviously, they're not. But when are they going to actually take the steps into fighting against the Empire? I'm interested to see that. But yeah, if you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe so you don't miss other videos I post on this channel. Uh, comment down if you remember who they were, who Rafa and Trace were when they showed up in this episode. Like, because between season seven and the Bad Batch, there has been some time, but maybe you just saw season seven. If you were like, if you're new to Star Wars, and you, yeah, if you're new to Star Wars, you would probably remember, but what am I saying? Did that make sense? If you just watched season seven, like just just watch season seven, you would have probably remember them. If you watch season seven when it first came out, and haven't watched Star Wars since um, Mandalorian season two, right? Yeah, since the ending of Mandalorian season two, dude. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.